all beautiful day. What are the warning signs? What are the warning signs that each one of us could be ignoring? There's five categories of them, and they're really important to, to tune into because they are going to give you guidance how to get back to remembering your greatness. Hey, this is Rebecca. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We're diving deep so we can rise high. I'm going to share with you today something I learned a long time ago in my yoga training, my yoga therapy training. And these five categories are essential. In these five categories are some really important messages or warnings that your life and body and, and your whole being is giving you. So, so let's jump in. So what am I talking about here today? I'm talking about being your best self. I'm talking about remembering your greatness and then living from that space of being. And we have kind of like a warning system, uh, like a five tier warning system in our whole like makeup that helps us to get back to that remembering. In my yoga therapy training, there's a map. There's a map of the, the human condition, basically, of just re forgetting, right? You know, we, we clean the slate with each incarnation and we forget. And so what we do in our, in our reincarnation each time is remember. And each incarnation gets easier to remember. So this map is called the five koshas. The five koshas are these five areas of our human condition that act as um, areas where we can um, communicate with to see where we're going astray, where we are forgetting. Uh, it's key to use these five kind of alarm systems or warning signs to see where we have uh, kind of contracted our perspective of ourselves. And so we are infinite beings. We are sparks of the divine of source energy. We are avatars, if you, if you will. We are avatars of source energy. We are source energy. Now, we are not all of it, right? We are kind of a droplet of it. If you think of uh, the ocean and kind of a, a wave that sprays a droplet of water, we're that droplet. And we drop back into the ocean, right? The, the source energy. But we are that droplet. We are that source. And when we start losing that perspective, a lot of warning signs happen. We are set up to remember. Now, I'm going to go through these five warning signs. I'm going to start off with the, the red alert, okay? I'm going to start off with the one that is most apparent to us, which is the physical body, and then they get more subtle from there. So number one is the physical body. When you finally have symptoms or sensations or feelings in the body or... Um, you know, diagnoses, when we have that, that is the last, like, red flags, last warning, okay? So think about that. If we have sensation in the body, like a, um, a physical, like, like something happening that you can actually see it on an x-ray and you can see it um, with testing and things like that, it becomes a physical, dense manifestation. If you are there, that is a warning sign, right? That is like a red alert, red alert, alert, do something different, right? Or red alert, red alert, we have some information for you. So if you have been a healthy person and you go to this, this physical existence, that's uh, challenging, right? Um, that's in a disease process, okay? One of the things is that there's a message there for you. There's a warning and there's a message. Now that might land a little hard for some folks because sometimes we have a physical manifestation to, to live something out, to really um, experience life in a certain way, right? So only you know the message and the knowing of 
what's happening with your physical existence. However, sometimes it is a warning sign. It is a message to say, hey, you haven't been listening to your broader perspective, right? So that red flag. And so then you get into communicating with your body. Body, what, what do you need to feel better? You know, um, would you like a walk? Would you like different food? Would you like more sleep? What physical thing can you do to support your body at that level? Now, the second tier is the energetics, the inner energetics. So the energetics that make up like the nadis, the meridians, the chakras, the, all that kind of thing, the breath pathways, prana. So we go into this next warning sign is that when you start to see that your, your breathing is shortened or you're holding your breath a lot or um, you're starting to feel sensation energetically yet you know you go get tests and stuff and there's nothing happening right so that's that's on the energetic level it hasn't it hasn't densified into a physical reality yet and that is a sign as well that's the warning sign hey hey pay attention remember woohoo wake up and from there if you're if you're experiencing things on that level um you know you can uh Acupuncture is wonderful for that. Yoga is wonderful. Breath work, pranayama practice is wonderful for that. Get that get that energy system flowing again and listen. Take time to listen to what these warning signs and messages are telling you. This is going to be key coming into 2021 as you know a lot of people are um, getting vaccinated with the new vaccine. A lot of people are, you know, their lives are changing. Our lives are changing in 2021 because of the current state of affairs. And we're going to have to stay very aware. So these warning signs are going to help you with your awareness and get more back on track and remembering and really listening to your awareness. So the next one, so we have the physical and the energetic. The next one is the emotional mental body in the five kosha system and this one is you know as you can see like it's it's what's what's happening with your emotions what are your thoughts doing what are your thoughts doing are they um are you very emotional um are you have a monkey mind you can't stop thinking you have negative thoughts um, these are things that indicate that something's awry you're, you're forgetting your truest nature and this warning sign is trying to show you hey your emotions are all over the place you're experiencing kind of lower frequency emotions grief depression anger a lot you're not bouncing back up you know it's normal to have this flow of energetic feeling emotion in the body but when we get stuck in a certain area and we're just depressed, angry, blaming, shaming, and, um, you know, sad, grief, disempowered, when we kind of stay on that trajectory, um, that's a warning sign. That's a warning sign that your broader perspective is trying to speak to you and you're not hearing it. Okay. So the next one is your intuition and your witness body. That's when you kind of peel away and can kind of see some of the, see of what's happening. And your intuition is that, that soft whisper from spirit. And that's like the first one. That's the first kind of warning sign. But a lot of us have such busy lives in this uh, modern society that we're, we don't hear that, that subtle, that subtle awareness. So that's why when we go to the next warning sign of the, the active emotions and, and thought processes. So how do you start to really listen in to that intuition? So the warning signs don't have to get bigger and more mm, disruptive to your, your life. Uh, to listen to that intuition more acutely, sit still for five to 40 minutes a day in silence. And as your mind gets active, just don't engage with it. And then all of a sudden you start to have this blankness. And then the whispers come in. It's really cool. Um, and I I want to jump back into the emotional mental thing because I didn't give a little remedy for that. So when your your emotions are flared, when your active mind is just can't stop, a good practice is to just tune into the breath 
and breathe in as you notice your feelings and thoughts and just notice them, okay? So that's a little bit of the witness body. You can start peeling away. And as you're like, wow, I have a lot of emotions here. Just breathe in and feel them and ask, you know, what are you telling me? What's the message here? And as you just sit with the emotions and feel them and be them, they'll start kind of, instead of having this, this tense, like contracted state, they'll just soften and you'll notice what's underneath them. It's just this beautiful process, but just be willing to sit with them like you would a child having a tantrum, right? Um, engaging or reacting to them usually doesn't go well. You know, just sit with them and hold space. Hear them. You know, when they feel heard, then the, then it's just calms down, right? Same thing with your emotions and your active mind. Just hold space for them. Feel them. Be with them. And just watch them come, be in a knot of energy and then just like resolve. And then we can get into that into intuitive state that I just talked about. That, that deeper silence with that that intuition that comes through. And finally, there's the bliss body. This is the bliss. This is the, the spirit body. This is the, your soul. This is source energy saying, hey, this is what you really are. Can you feel it? Remember? And this is holding that perspective. And when we stop to hold that pers when we stop holding that perspective, that's when the intuition, that warning sign comes in. Psst. Okay, and you'll know it's your intuition because it's it's not egoic, it's not loud, it's not boisterous, it's not like this is wrong if you don't do it this way. It's it's nothing like that. It's a very gentle whisper from the universe. That's why it's kind of subtle, and a lot of us don't hear it. So then it goes into the bigger the bigger red flag of emotions and you know active thinking. And if we don't get it from there, we don't get that message from there, then we go to that energetic body and then we finally get a denser reality of a physical active symptom that can be tested and seen in the body. Um, when you think about um, ascension symptoms, uh, they usually, ascension symptoms can't be tested. Like I've, I've gone to the <laughs> ER so many times with ascension symptoms. They are happening in the energy body. And that's why you, uh, you'll get tested and nothing, on a test, nothing's happening because they haven't solidified into the dense physical reality yet. And that's good. <laughs> so catch them in the energy body if you can, or catch them, catch them down lower in the intuition. So your intuition is a, you know, just a red alert system. And so think about this, you're driving in a car, right? And your gas tank starts to be empty. And the, the little red light goes off saying empty right? That's kind of like this warning system, except we have a five-tier warning system. In in cars, we just get the red light for a few, few miles, and then we just stop at the road, right? So we get, you know, level of four different areas of, of lights, basically, that are giving us these warning signs, these messages that you, the tank is spiritually empty, right? You have lost your perspective that you are source energy, you kind of have contracted into this view that you are this physical reality. And that contraction kind of hides us from the true nature of ourselves, which is that, that base level of bliss source energy. And visit there often. You can visit there often just by the glory of living, of surrendering and trusting. Again, sitting in the stillness, opening your eyes and just feeling the nature, your true nature of bliss, of peace, no matter what is going on around you. You know, that perspective of trust life fully, that perspective of just surrendering, let life surprise me living in that bliss. And as you live there, uh, that vibration manifests your, your life. And so a lot of times when we, when we talk about this new paradigm, this is where we want to be. Living in this bliss body, living in this peace, living in this trust and this surrender. And if we're living in the emotional, mental realm or the physical realm, 
uh, that's a different frequency. And so what this new paradigm is asking of us, of us is to uh, manifest from this baseline rather than manifesting from physical and emotional mental realities. This is where our soul will feel most nourished. This is where our ascension process really begins by really holding this bliss, no matter what's happening around us. And a lot of times that, you know, here's the bliss, life's happening around us, and then we don't hear the intuition. We go into an emotional, you know, frenzy, and, you know, our whole energetic system gets gets stuck, and then we get some kind of physical symptom. And yet, all that's being asked of us is to hold the bliss, hold the peace, hold the remembering, hold the trust. Yeah. So guys, this is the way I see it. I really love this kosha mo five kosha model. Um, I've developed all my mentoring and coaching around this, this model, because I, it's just, it's a simple model. Um, but it's, it is detailed enough to really get into all the layers of our, our human condition and really bring us back to remembering the bliss body, remembering our spiritual nature. That's you. That's you. So I have a little song that, that talks about this. I am the light. I am the light. An infinite being to perceive, know, and be. I am the light. So I often sing that over and over and over again. I am the light. I am the light. An infinite being to perceive, know, and be. I am the light. So that knowingness, that happens at the bliss body. You just know, right? The intuition is helping you, just is, is, a, is a little reminder to know, okay? But if we're living in that bliss and we're if we're living and surrendered to our spiritual God and source nature, we know there's a knowingness, okay? That knowingness doesn't happen in the intuition. That knowingness doesn't happen in the emotional mental realm. Okay, it happens at the bliss body. Okay, now, yeah, so what happens is like the physical body, what you can have a talk with your physical body. And when you're connected to the bliss body, you have this knowing about this communion between physical and, and spiritual. And you know what the infinite beingness of your body wants. So there's, there's several, there's lots of things happening with this, this reality of body. We think like, you know, it's just, I'm my body. No, there is like so much, there's a universe happening, a reality happening with every cell and molecule and your body ha is an infinite being in itself and ha it has its preferences. So you work together with your spiritual source nature to say, what do we know? You know, body, what do you, you know, communicate with me? What do we know here? So you use your knowing and the body's knowing to really get this beautiful plan <laughs> for this incarnation that works best. You know, what does it want today? I have a really great video on, um, uh, the Ascension Diet, which really talks about this knowingness about how to feed your body when you're in a more awakened state. Um, we don't go, when we're in this awakened state, you know, just certain plans or diets not don't necessarily work. We have to go day by day with what, um, what our awareness is telling us. So anyway, guys, as we head into 2021 and beyond, uh, these warn these five warning signs are really imperative to live by. Um, you're, you're knowing from the source that you are is key to joyful, easeful living and your awakening and ascension journey. This is the way I see it. What do you know about this topic? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being you, for being here and joining the tribe here. Namaste.